Hello my YouTube fam out there. Today we're going to uncover the question, do you have silver in your pockets? Stay tuned to what I mean as we go through the roll of quarters and other uh, coins I have that might show interest. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome to What's in Your Pocket. Today we're going to examine these coins right here. We got three nickels, four pennies, two quarters, candy half dollar, and unopened roll of quarters. So first and foremost, let's break into that roll of quarters. Just give me one second. And as you can see, I opened up the roll of quarters. Well, let's see what we got here. Mm-hmm. 1982. Uh, statehood quarter could be double stamped. Don't know. We'll have to find out later. Then we got it looks like a nice shiny one too. Look at that. Still has this good for 1995. That's still pretty good. You gotta admit, they don't look that bad. President of uh, presidential or, or statehood one, sorry. Uh, no, that looks look at that. That's pretty shiny. That was one of those proof quarters. But of course, all of her quarters are about the same. I have a lot of her quarters for that statehood. Uh, Thousand. Let's look at the backs. Is that? Because as you already know, I already got two Wyoming quarters. So let's take a look and see what we got here. We got, huh? Pretty tarnished, my head. It's not that bad. Not bad for quarters. Oh well, yeah, we got some more right here too. Ah, we got a, what is this, 1982 it looks like, I'll see the other microscope find out what that one is, and then this one we got, sorry if it's blurry, 1979, it looks, nope, 1972, huh, oh nice, more statehood quarters, yeah, that's the ending state headquarters. Ooh. Ah. We got another quarter to look at. Another Wyoming quarter. I'll explain why that one in a minute here. I'm not going to look at I'll examine all these quarters right them. I'm playing out. Just to uh, see if there's certain die cast chips or errors. Um that one, that's at the, the first half of the roll. Let's see here. Okay, that's an eagle. That's a statehood. That's a statehood. That's a statehood. That's an eagle. That's a statehood. So let's see here. The first eagle we got. 1973. Hmm. This is an eagle, but you can tell it's like it's way early. 1998. We got these other statehoods, which don't really do any good. Let's see here. Nothing there. Nothing there. Here's Eagle Quarter. Another Eagle Quarter. Statehood and a statehood. We got these statehoods right there. Oh, yeah. You never know. Let's find something good. And we got this one right here. Another 1994. 96, I think. And then we got this one right here. Which is in 1988. Huh. Wouldn't you know it? Oops. That's a state headquarter, too. <laughs> See? Well, these are just state headquarters. I was hoping to find something worth value, you know? Like a good old, uh. I look at the eagle ones because you never know, you might find a diecast here. Who the hell is this one made? Oh, that's a state headquarters, that's why. 
that don't mean nothing. Another state headquarter, more state headquarters. Well, that covers all the, all the state headquarters. Now I'm going to take these under magnifying glass, and we're going to take a closer examination of them, and I'll tell you what I see. So stick with me as we find out if there's silver in your pocket. And because I said we are going to be looking at certain pennies to start off with, our first penny we got here is a 1992D penny, weighs 3.1 grams. Um, I don't know, I can't really tell if there's doubling. Maybe some of these pennies might have like a double ear. Or the letters will be like double. So why did I pull this one out? Let's see here. No floating roof. Don't see the doubling in the letters. This is why I am. That's my first penny. So here's the second one. Um, 1972 S. I think the 1972 S penny. Yes, if I remember correctly, we find it. Um, <laughs> so this is a lot of errors out there for certain pennies, but still, it's, that's my birth year basically. 1972 tells you how old this old man is. Uh, we've got no floating roof on that one. Uh, I don't see I think anything out of ordinary. I mean, it could be wrong. So if you guys see something, like I said, please drop me a comment in my comment bar and let's see what happens. Then the next, the next penny, 1953D. You got to admit, I mean, he, for an old penny, he still hold, he still has a pretty good uh, shine to his face, doesn't he? Yeah. Liberty. But here's the special thing about this penny. It's a weak penny. And it's pretty beaten up, I might add. No no double die or nothing like that, I see. But still, the weak penny is pretty cool. Next penny is 1941D. You don't have much of a shine to his face, but it's alright compared to the other penny. Uh, yeah, that's not bad looking. But the other special thing about this penny is, when did you believe it? It's another weak penny. You don't see no double die. This is America. Yeah, no, I don't see no double dies anywhere on that one. That's still pretty good. Now, I mentioned in my video yesterday about the nickel with the buffalo penis. Yeah, I'll show it to you. It is a 2005D nickel. And it looks like a regular picture. Then you go right there. Tell me why would they give a buffalo nickel a penis? That does not make any sense. I looked it up and it goes for anywhere from 39 cents to give or take a dollar fifty. Just because I guess the you shouldn't have had a penis on a, a, a nickel. <laughs> I'm not sure. The next nickel we have here is a, is a nice nickel as well. It is a 1981D. I don't you know, know why I pulled it out. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, how thick that it, the edge is right there. They come all the way up over here and bam, it's gone. This is an off-center die um, stamp. Like I said, it's a 1981P, actually, not a D. Huh. It's off-center on the front. You flip over and you go on the back. And you have the same thing going on on the back. I mean, the guy isn't just weird, it's off-center. I think it's more off center on the front than it is on the back, though. So that's just odd. Huh. So that's an off center nickel. And the point to me asking you, why do you have do you have silver in your pockets? It is because of this nickel I'm about to show you. It's a 1955 
vehicle. Still not in bad shape. You can see his eyes and his nose and stuff like that. Not really off center for die cast. But that year is very important for a reason. And the reason for that being is, is because in 1964, they stopped making metal change out of silver. They passed a law basically stating that uh, they're going to stop circulating silver. So if you have any like dimes, nickels, quarters, half dollars, silver dollars there before 1964, you hold holding silver in your pockets. For instance, this 1955 is a silver nickel because it's before 1964. So yes, I have silver in my pockets. Now we're going to take a look at this big old candy half dollar. I got this at 2.2 magnification so it gives it a more better look. Huh. Well, it looks like that E is eaten up, is getting eaten up by his hair. So is some of R. So that might be a die cast error right there because it's in his hair, but I could be wrong. I have to find me some more of these. Nice uh, 1971 candy half dollars. And on the back, we got United States of America, of course, as usual. It's a beautiful picture on it. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's the, we, do, we do good work on metal, don't we? <laughs> and now, the best part of all, I got three of these quarters. So I got to take a good look at all of them. These are the Wyoming quarters that are supposed to have the die cast chip right by the, the horse's tail. In other words, right back there. Right back here, right by his, his tail, it's supposed to be a die chip right there, making this quarter, I think worth 25 or 35 bucks, if, I'm not, if not more if I'm mistaken. As you can see, this one doesn't have it. There's also be, it's supposed to be like a double stamping on a saddle, if you can actually get one in really good condition when you see the saddle. But as you see, it is a statehood quarter. Don't see no double stamping there. See some pretty good stamping marks actually. Like they did pretty good on hitting that one. That's the first one. Here's the second one. As you can tell, there's something wrong on the top. And nothing back there. No double stamping either. Ooh, let's check the saddle out from the other one real quick first. To make sure I was seeing things right. <laughs> and see, nothing wrong with that. But they said they said that the double stamp for the saddle and that die chip right there back by the tail. And now the final one. It looks normal from what I see, but let's find out. Yep, it is. Doggone it. I was hoping and praying for a good one. But oh well, it's not good. Nothing back there. No double stamp on his uh, saddle. And as you can see, there's no double stamping there. And I thought I saw something on the A there. I was saying things. Until then, you guys have a great day.